Greetings, hi, hello. There's been a lot of talk on social media lately about King of the Hammers 2020. As there should be because it's only 16 days away. Yeah, that's correct. It's on February 7th. It is 16 days away. So people are getting pretty excited. And uh, I'm pretty bummed. I'm not going to be able to make it this year. Which, you know, kind of sucks. But at the same time, I'm extremely grateful, forever thankful, that I got to be a part of the race last year. I teamed up with my buddy Scott at Fugawi Racing. And uh, Scott wasn't racing just any class. He was racing in the big dogs league. The big boys. The, the professionals, the largemans, creme de la creme, the, the major dudes. Uh, anyway, Scott was racing in 4400 and uh, it was kind of a big deal. That experience to be a part of his race team and kind of getting some clips and just all I did was make a video but I was like part of the team which was incredible it was a great experience like I said once in a lifetime so uh, because I won't be there this year and last year was so incredible I'm gonna post last year's video and if you've already seen it well, watch it again it was an awesome video and if you haven't seen it well did you haven't even seen it so uh, here's last year's King of the Hammers video, 2019. Enjoy! Welcome, Welcome to, King to King of the, of the Hammers, Hammers 2019. 2019. So my good buddy Scott over at Fagawi Racing has officially qualified for the big dance tomorrow. He's racing King of the Hammers 4400 class and uh, this is kind of a big deal. He was nice enough to hook me and Lexi up with uh, some pit passes so we're back here. Let's go have a look inside. Deep inside. And Rob's here sporting his awesome hat. Oh yeah, that's real nice. So this is it, this is the car, 4447. This is the car that potentially might win King of the Hammers tomorrow. Yeah. Knock on tire. Fagawi at the tech line inspection. We already know everything's gonna be all right, though. Did uh, you get to see any trophy truck? Yeah, we presented the first race. Oh, damn. Congratulations. Oh, man, look at that scout. God, I love scouts. Makeshift fab shop, so I told him I wanted a four link. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I had a cracked frame and I took it to work and tried to fix it a few months ago and it's kind of starting to crack again, so I'm just gonna get that repaired real quick. Super nice of them to do that out here, you know? You 
guys, I'm with Michelangelo from Last Place Garage, and uh, he's nice enough to help me out with this frame. He's gonna fix it once and for all. You're the man. Back door this evening with Kyle Lynn himself, people's champ. I guess the Toyota is blown up though, or what? We put on a hell of a show, but uh, I missed it. So maybe she'll be back tomorrow. I don't know, I broke up the propane valve. We'll be waiting. It's a cool, cool, brisk 30 degrees out. It's the crack of yawn, and today is the big day. Today's the day that Scott races King of the Hammers, car 4447 in the 4400 class. Uh, we gotta make our way over to the starting line and watch him begin, and uh, ah, it's a little chilly. This water practically iced itself overnight. Let's get over there. One last thing. Go Fogawi Racing. So we slept in 30 minutes too long and we missed the start. Scott, I'm sorry, I'm a really bad friend. Go Fogawi Racing. Since I'm the worst videographer ever, we're here at a Chocolate Thunder now. It's my second chance to catch the car. See if we can see Scott, come on down. And Rob's over here on Cardo Tracks, tracking the course, and uh, they're kind of just hanging out, marinating, waiting to see some live action. Exciting. Scott, we waited here like two it, hours for him to drive by. Let's go. All right, off to Hammertown. Let's see Scott for a photo finish. Fagawi Racing. Go, Fagawi, go. Yeah. Honestly, it was the first time I ever obviously done King of the Hammers. 
<laughs> nice job, guys. Congratulations and one hell of a year, man. Nice job, both of you. Woo! Yeah. That course is fucking nasty. What's the fastest you guys went? I don't know. You do it. I don't think it was that fast, though. I would guess 75, 80. He backed door. He almost. He bumped it once. Almost made it. Bumped it twice. Almost rolled. Backed it up, saved it, sledge at the plaque, said only uh, three people had made it up at the plaque without winching, and Dennis fluffed right through it. You guys gotta check out the aftermath. It's dirty, but in surprisingly good shape. Top 25, it's a pretty big accomplishment. I think just finishing the race is a pretty big accomplishment. So, big ups to Pagawi and Scott and Dennis and everyone that uh, pitted for this car. Cool stuff, I'm just stoked to be able to be here and watch. Check it out, we even got famous people. Hey Lexi. <laughs> That's a good looking hat right there. This one? That one. Captain Narkill. Oh, yeah. You should follow him. Appreciate it. Don't forget it. <laughs> What's up? Just a friendly reminder hats are still for sale and they'd be looking real nice out here. Oh, yeah, yeah, buddy.